This segment right here is called Breaking Down a Brick. Y'all already know, man. So this segment right here, we like to give y'all companies, break the companies down for y'all. And if you're in a triple beam team, master the triple beam of the lottery pick of the Patreon group, you will get the price tomorrow. Let's go. All right, man, so this week we're breaking down Oracle, man. Uh, Computer Technology Corporation engages in the provision of products and services that address all aspects of corporate information technology environments. Let's go, family. All right, man, so as we look at Oracle, man, just right now, year-to-date, the company is up 14%. Year-to-date, the stock is up 14%. Uh, Hardware, services, and cloud and license infrastructure is what they do. Let's go a little further. All right. Uh, their operating revenue by geograph, uh, geographic region is United States makes up 47 percent, Canada makes up 3.2 percent, Germany makes up three point, Germany makes up. Man, that's odd. It kind of confused me just now. 3.2 percent as well. Okay, uh, Japan makes up 4.4 percent. Uh, United Kingdom makes up 5.5 percent. And other countries make up 35%. Uh, they make most of their money from cloud and licensing, um, which is 36.1 billion. They make 3.2 billion from hardware, and they make seven, they make 3.2 billion from services. So this is how their money is operated through their services and geographically. Let's go a little further. Uh, the cash flow has increased by 13% year over year over the last seven years. The earnings per share have increased 1% year over the year over the last seven years. Let's go a little further. Uh, net income, average increase of five years, a 5% year over year, and the revenue has increased by 2% um, year over, over the last seven years. Let's go a little further. Here's something that's real strong. Uh, their price to earnings compared to their peers is good. Price to earnings compared to the industry is good. Price to earnings compared to the fair ratio is good. Uh, below fair value is good. Significantly for no fair value is good, but their analyst forecast isn't the best. Um, their P.E. ratio compared to their peers is pretty, pretty good. Uh, six out of three out of six, they have good earnings. The profit margins aren't growing. Accelerated growth is good, but the earnings compared to the industry is bad. And the return on equity is not the best. It averaging 7.8% at its best. Uh, let's go a little further. What's good, Trappers, man? It's your boy, the Wall Street Trapper. Right now, I want to invite you to an amazing experience full of value. That is my community, Trappers Anonymous. It's 100% the greatest fundamental investing community on the market. Listen, your portfolio should be a masterpiece. And the only way we get you there is if we help you to learn how to invest with confidence. Now listen, I get it. Like you don't know a lot about stocks or maybe you've heard people say how much money they lost in stocks, but I can guarantee you one, because they weren't in the community and two, they lacked the information. Our goal in Travels Anonymous is to help you, really to hold your hand on the journey to becoming a confident investor, learning how to navigate through the different events that the stock market goes through to take you from panic to encouragement. There's no better time than now. This is an opportunity only for those who are willing to be on the journey. So listen, man, click the link below. Come join me in Travis Anonymous, man. I will see you in one of our many classes, whether it's Moat Monday, whether it's the two hour class we do on Sunday or whether it's just a book club, everything is geared toward making you a better investor so you can triple your network and turn your last name to an asset. It's your boy Wall Street Traveler. See you in the trap. When you take a loss, this is what you need to recover from that loss. So if you lose 1%, 1% can get it. If you lose 5%, you can get 5%. But watch this. If you lose 10%, you need 11% gain. If you lose 20%, you need a 25% gain. If you lose 30%, you need a 43% gain. If you lose 50%, you need 100%. Uh, if you lose 40%, you need a 67% gain. If you lose 50%, you need 100% gain. If you lose 60%, you need 150% gain. If you lose 70%, you need 233% gain. If you lose 80%, you need a 400% gain on that position. Reason being, every time you lose, 
what happens is that position starts over at a negative. This is why it's important for you to do what? Average in. Why? Because if you average in, you bring the cost basis down. If your stock goes down and you don't bring the cost basis down, you need to now get to that to break even just before you can go above it. What happens is, let's say you lose 40%. Let's say your stock is at $100. Well, it goes down to 90. Well, now it's like you now position now at $90 if you don't bring your cost basis down. So now you need what? 10% to get back to the top. Make sense? You need 10%. The further you go down, the more you need to go up. The more you need to increase. This is why it is important for you to do what now? If you find, one, it's important for you to buy great businesses. Two, it is important for you to understand why you need to average into stocks and not just let them hit. This is why I just told you. Yo, I'm going to go buy tomorrow morning, I'm going to go buy 150 shares of PayPal. Not because I just won't buy it, it's because I need to average down so I ain't sitting where I'm at. I don't got to get a 200% return on this. I can average down into it, bring my cost basis down, and now I can get, it don't got to go to whatever it's at right now, it can come down. This helps me now see a better return. You feel me? I need you to understand, averaging in to this helps you out. This is so important for us. This is so, Trapping Tools, this is about us helping you understand how to navigate. So this is why I don't need you trying to buy a Bed Bath & Beyond. I don't need you trying to buy these garbage can companies because you get stuck. You bought First Republic at $33 when the people talked about it. The stock is now on $2. Guess what? You took that L, fam. It ain't gonna, you ain't going to get the 400% return on that. You down 80%. You done. But if you bought an NVIDIA last year or if you bought a Facebook last year and the stock was down 80%, and you bought it all the way down at $89, guess what? Facebook is up 100% this year. If you bought Facebook and it was going down, it went down, it went down to $89. Your goal as an investor is not to just sit there and say, I ain't buying no from Facebook, is to say, yo, I like the company, I understand the fundamentals, let me buy down. So now it's at $89, I bought it, I kept buying it till it went down, and guess what happened right then? Boom, you up 100%. Guess what happened? You got your money back, you in the good almost. Same thing with NVIDIA. Learning how to play the game helps you win the game. You trying to go buy these trash companies thinking, yo, it's the time for me to buy? No, it ain't. Leave it alone. All stocks don't come back up. Only the quality ones do. Only the quality ones do. All stocks don't come back up, yo. Some of them get delisted. Then you really out of luck. You really out of luck. Once it get delisted, you you done. So, buy great companies. When great companies go on sale, average into it to bring your cost basis down. Now, don't buy every dip. You're going to run out of chip. Average down so you can bring your cost basis down so you ain't going to be down 80% trying to get a 400% return. I'm going to average down on PayPal. I understand that the growth is slow now. I understand that they got a great balance sheet. They got a good income statement. They got a good balance sheet. But yo, they don't got no growth. So, I don't already hit the switch. Boom. Let me average down into it. Let me get my cost basis down to about $70. And guess what? I got to hold it for five years. I ain't tripping. 
But now I don't gotta wait to try to get a 20, 233%. Talking about, I ain't buying PayPal no more. No. 